Hi there, what is up? My name is Lee and uh, welcome to my channel. I think probably most of you are new here because this is a very very new channel um, but today I did this makeup look. This is like my go-to makeup look when I just have no time in the morning or you know if I'm leaving the house. So if you want to get to know me a tiny little bit better and see how I achieve, how I achieve this really easy everyday glowy summery I don't know how else to describe it, makeup look and what I've used, then just keep on watching. My face is already moisturized and I'm gonna go with my favorite concealer which is the Pretty Fresh Concealer from Colourpop and not my favorite powder which is the Colourpop No, no Filter Sheer Pressed Powder. This is in Fair. It's just it's not that long lasting on me. I have a combo skin and in the summertime it's like nowhere near as good as I need it to be but in the winter time I do use it so I've hit pan but I'm gonna use it today because I'm not going anywhere after this so I'm going to just put a little bit of concealer where I feel like I need it which is on the redness around my nose closer to the like hollows of my under eye bags which are they're here they're here to stay um, they're not going anywhere I've had them since I can remember and also I'm gonna put them the concealer right here lower on my cheeks where I have like hyper pigmentation I think it is I'm not actually sure what, what it is I'm gonna use my favorite blush to blend out my concealer which is the Real Techniques um, sculpting brush it's just really dense and it's really great shape to hit like very uh, small places but also large areas when you use it sideways. I'm not gonna use foundation. I don't have, I don't own a foundation. I never use foundation. Um, I'm just gonna try to even out my skin tone a little bit. By the way, I am in the shade Fair 15 in the Colourpop concealer. It looks a little bit too light on me at first even though my neck is pretty light but it oxidizes just a tiny bit to make it match me pretty flawlessly if I do say so myself. Um, when I finish my makeup you definitely don't see like a lightness where I put the concealer and also it just blends out so nicely so who cares. So I blend out around my nose and then just whatever is on the blush I put on the brush side I put on my nose directly. I don't like having a lot of stuff on my nose. I just like having a tiny tiny little bit. And now I'm just gonna blend out one eye. When I finish blending it out I immediately go with my Juvia's Place uh, brush and my powder and I set it before it has the chance to crease on me because I have under eye wrinkles like you know people I'm just gonna go over very lightly with the powder on the rest of my face on my smile lines but just everywhere because I am gonna go in with powder products after this and I want them to blend out on my skin on my bare skin next I'm gonna go with my favorite bronzer which is take home the bronze from the balm this is in the shade Oliver it looks like this it's very fair and my um, sheer blush brush from Eco Tools, which is really great for uh, bronzer because it diffuses everything very softly. So I put most of it right here on the perimeters of my face above where my hollow is because I don't want the bronzer to drag my features down. And then I also put it on my nose whatever is left on the brush after I initially put it here on the cheeks. I'm also going to put it a little bit on my jawline. I have this really old blush from Essence. This is like it's completely worn off. The, <laughs> the lid is completely broken. Yeah, this is the Silky Touch blush from Essence. I've been trying to hit pen on this. You know, forget finish it. Hit pen on it for years now and you can still see like the 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 pattern on it on the powder it's crazy and like it works it picks up on the brush this is the small table brush from elf it picks up on the brush it picks up on my skin it's just the weirdest thing it's like the story that never ends this blush and 
I put it on the apples of my cheek. I don't like to drag it a little bit too far up because I just don't feel like it looks that natural on me. And I'm also going to put whatever is left on the brush, on the bridge of my nose and on the tip a little bit. Just to make it look like youthful and sun-kissed and glowy. A little bit also on my chin, just to tie it all together. For highlight, I'm going to use the Kiko, um, what is it, Ocean Feel. It's, it's like last summer's collection. Uh, highlighter, number one, Golden Vibes. This is like the perfect golden highlight for fair skin, I am telling you. It's precious in my collection. Um, it's just really golden and yet really sheer. You know, it doesn't have like uh, too strong of a base to it. And yet it's it's actually like gold. It's not, you know, champagne. It's not icy in any means. It's just the most beautiful thing. And it doesn't leave any cast um, on my face when the light doesn't hit it. Like there is no gray cast or dark cast. Some dual chromes highlighters have this gray tinge to them when you look straight ahead and there is no light hitting you. But this one does not, in my opinion. And you can like go pretty heavy with it and it still looks great. Just in case you want that, you know, heavy highlight look like I'm going for today. Cool. This is the KVD um, setting mist locket. Um, I bought it when it was still Kat Von D, but things change in the world like we all know, like we all feel right now. So what is your situation? My situation is I am still working, but from home. So basically my boyfriend and I share the tiniest of apartments. Right now I'm in the bedroom, he's working in the living room. Uh, my workstation is also here, his workstation is over there. So we manage to keep it a little bit separated so we don't bother each other, so he can listen to music, I can have, you know, conference call, calls and everything. So it works for us. Um, we've actually been enjoying the time together because usually our timetable is pretty off, like it's not very synced. I would of course love to go out of the house and work outside the house. Actually my job has been much harder since we, um, we've been working from home. It's been hard and I've been um, it's, it's, I've had ups and downs. I'm looking for a brush, sorry. So for like more natural glammy looks, I don't really conceal my veins or anything around the eyes. I know it's controversial. Maybe it will look better if I do, but I just don't. And I'm going to use the Kiko Milano uh, long, wear, uh, long Lasting Eyeshadow Stick, sorry, in uh, the shade 38, which is an amazing taupey, um, like brown, grayish, I don't know, with uh, gold specks in it. So I just put it all over my lid and I'm working one eye at a time because I don't want it to set on me. And I'm using this Juvia's Place um, brush just to ever so slightly diffuse the edges. This is the most amazing, amazing, amazing shade. It just looks so beautiful and so effortless. Gonna use a tiny little bit on the bottom lash line as well. Yeah, that like that's basically it. So as I was saying, um, work has been a little bit draining, but still, I know how fortunate I am to still have a constant paycheck and to to not lose the progress I've made in my work. And just to have like the, the security, financial security of a constant paycheck, that's amazing. And I'm not um, underestimating it in any way. I'm not uh, selling it short. I don't know, like I'm, I'm very appreciative of my situation, but still um, it's hard. You know, there are hard aspects of it. It's hard not leaving the house. I'm just putting some highlight in my inner corner. I really love how like um, diffused it is and I no, I wanted to put some, a little bit of black shadow in my outer corners but I kind of feel like this is pretty perfect. No, I'm, I'm gonna leave it. So I'm just gonna put mascara. So this whole look was inspired by this Fenty Beauty um, 
lipstick that I bought. It's the satin lipsticks. It's on sale. I bought it like um, on February, I think. Like I just wanted a glowy, bronzy look with this orange, like true orange lipstick. This is all I wanted. So now I'm making my small dream come true. Oh yeah, I am living for this look. I actually maybe liked it more with my hair up, but who the fuck cares? That's it. Um, thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!